what's up guys this is ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology so this will be the i'm not sure like let me check like uh thing this is going to be part three i believe yes uh let me check yes this is going to be the part three tutorial of uh, our active directory automation series using python so in the last video like um, we have we have like in, let me just start from the beginnings in the initial state we just set up the connection we we have uh, done some sort of simple searching and we did some attribute fetch from there but again this is very simple i'm not considering this thing but the only important thing is that we have set up our connection using uh, this way uh, or probably using this user as the pa password and the server name and the next tutorial was important like we have created like bulk user uh, by uh, reading from some sort of csv file this is our csv data all user data are loaded and in this video what i'll do i'll be going uh, oops so in this video what i'll do i'll be going to like delete user uh, like bulk deletion from csv so before moving forward let me just um, search some user like or delete one simple user from there okay so what i'll do there is a user called test one user one let me find a cn okay so user is having the cn okay so let me just we'll, let me just delete this user first one user then we'll do it okay so how to delete that this is going to be pi ad we all know then it will be ad user okay and then ad uh ad user and then from cn we need to search the user first you have to pass this thing and after that you have to just call this function or method delete okay so if you run this uh, this is going to be deleted this user is going to be deleted okay so let's run this thing first terminated this means is completed so let me just refresh this thing see the object has gone from here so this, this is very simple like uh, we can delete let me just do it for another one i'm not sure which user should we take uh, let me just create one user and we'll try to delete okay let's say del one test one del one test one let me just make it a disable account okay so this is the user with uh, this cn del1 test1 one. so let me just give this thing over here okay so now if i run this thing it will be deleted okay so see the user is here so after running it i'll just do a refresh terminated it's mean terminated means in eclipse the program has been completed or executed successfully then let me just refresh this thing again see it's deleted so now the task is uh, we already have one uh, this thing like this user data so in user data this column like user id column is the cn like whatever was our user id we just gave uh, the same value as cn if you if you guys remember this thing from our last video so i'll just uh, loading this file and i'll be deleting all the like records from this OU. so this is going to be uh, let me just remove this thing this is probably all users are loaded in this OU, tou okay so we'll be doing it now okay so first thing first let me just load this thing this is going to be with it open to give the file name user underscore data dot csv as f1 then the csv row equals to uh, csv dot reader 
to give f1 and delimiter equals to comma well okay then for row in csv row this is tell i think all of you know it now then uh, let me just check it which one is our zero first second third fourth fifth so our fifth uh, column fifth column is uh, the cn okay so uh, let me just cn equals to row five and then i have to just run this thing like pi ad dot ad user dot ad user dot dot delete okay and let me just type their employee id like like row zero so i'll be able to understand which is actually currently being deleted let me just do it deleted user is okay this is now okay now one thing we can do it like r equals to zero if i greater than zero then only we should consider this thing shift right and once everything is done like this thing i equals to i plus one okay so why i i get at then zero because in our file we have one header we don't want to read the header so first iteration it will read the header and after that it will come here okay that is why i just made it i get at then zero so get at then zero means definitely once because we're dealing with integers okay so hopefully this should this should run actually okay so what i'll do uh let me just try this thing okay uh, to, 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 so you can see like this is only very small piece of code but it is going to be deleted the all user will be uh, deleted like uh, within a minute probably last time we did like thousand user uh, onboarded like within 1.5 uh, minutes like one and a half minutes so hopefully this time also it will be the same okay so let's run it see deleted user now it's going on well 120 190 200 thing is going on well uh, completed deleted user was last let me just refresh this see all like record has been deleted so what i'll do i will just comment this thing and i will uncomment our last tutorial okay Thing. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully, 
hopefully what i'll do i'll, I'll be creating um, the records again i think we haven't changed we need to change the code it was like from the last tutorial so same like we just creating the user like this thing okay so what i will do i'll be creating the user and after that um, we can just uh, delete start the deletion again okay let me just do it again i can this is going on this is creating because i have just pre printing the employee id and employee id is coming from row zero so what i'll do i'll just delete i'll delete uh, i'll create the user and after uh, after that i'll be deleting the same going on is 800 so i'm just doing it uh, like two times just to make you guys feel comfortable okay so it's created so let me check okay records are created now let me just uh, comment this thing and uncomment this part okay well so now again i'll be uh, doing the deletion uh, operation like by executing this piece of code so so this is again going to be deleted so you guys see like how like quick and uh, like easy this thing like only you have to know this piece of command nothing else and the remaining things are normal like python thing and as well like it is not python in every language this is how you read from csv so yes of course you can do it in powershell but again we are going to do something else like as i told you will be going to create uh, one tool or one web based application by integrating all this feature like import deletion search everything Cool, done. See, everything is created. So that's all, guys. That's all for uh, today's episode or today's video. In the next part, probably um, we can do it something on the group level. Like we have created user, uh, we have deleted user. We will be checking how to create use, how to create groups, how to delete groups, how to add membership, how to remove membership. Okay, and how to add user as a member. Okay, we'll be updating uh, like. Uh, um those those three four things we'll be doing in the next episode so um, i hope you guys are enjoying this series i know this is very uh very special and very like uh, having very uh unique viewers not uh this is not uh, like for everyone because um not everyone is going to use active directory on their daily life those are actually very much uh very much like um, related with security topics or uh, windows infrastructure related topics for them this is actually very much important so guys don't worry uh, i'll be i'll be covering all those topics in the um, next topic uh, next videos again like complete um, active directory automation i'll be going to cover but but till then uh, just just don't look at or don't just go by um, go through my videos only uh, you have to write the codes actually if you start doing this thing then you'll be able to like gain some knowledge gain some confidence if you are not doing any practicing or writing or doing some hands-on then this is not going to work so what i'll do just take uh, just create some dummy user try to do by your own play around with the piece of code play around with the video i have i have shown you guys the uh, like the 
the library name is spy audio if you search with pi audio pi pi uh, you will get the documentation from uh, github and everywhere okay so you have to just go through it and and the uh, like the most most important thing like i'm, I'm not going to hide anything I, I told in my all videos like in this video as well if you know the documentation from the python uh, or any python library official and unofficial that is done because uh, there is no uh, like material or no textbook for all these things you have to go through their documentation and everything is written there whatever i'm doing teaching or learning or uh, definitely i'll learn in future as well i'll be learning from their documentation and official in email in meanwhile if i get something from the youtube from other channel then definitely it will be helpful but all these topics are very special you will not get any videos um, over stack overflow github or and uh, like youtube yeah definitely small videos are available tutorials are available but th those are not actually in this uh, that level of having that that level of the detail like this okay so we'll be going to cover as i told you from basics to everything each and every aspects of active directory operation and once this is done we'll be doing uh, like um, assessment and report generation task as well so it will be the complete uh, like package for uh, one administrator okay so that's all guys hope to see you in the next video but before uh, like uh, finishing this episode please please do subscribe to our channel share our video hit the like button hit the bell icon if you are having some suggestion comments feedback please let us know via uh, youtube comment facebook page uh, comment or you can send me direct email and those are not yet to the not yet subscribe to our channel please um, do subscribe our channel hit the bell icon so you should not know, miss any notification many more exciting videos are coming in the future um, as you all know base maps are going on report labs are going on machine learning tutorials are going to start i'm just uh, sorting out the things like from here actually i need to start so this is weekend sunday uh, it's 8 57 in the morning as you can see 21 um, july so hopefully i'll be going outside in the evening or later half in the day probably i'll be going to upload two more videos not sure which topic so till then take care goodbye and have a nice weekend